Resolve problem segment tonight. The southern border with Mexico remains in chaos despite all the attention brought to it. A couple of days ago, congressional candidate Raj Bhakta brought three elephants and a mariachi band to the border near Brownsville, Texas, to demonstrate that you can pretty much do anything you want without authorities on the border even noticing. Raj pranced around the border for about 90 minutes without interruption on top of the elephant. There he is to the sounds of the mariachi band, which were blaring, which is with us now is Mr. Bakta. Pretty clever stunt. Thank you. Um, so you went down to Brownsville, Texas, and, and where you were, were how, how many miles outside? We were about five miles, ten miles outside of Brownsville. Now that's just rural area, right? It's fairly rural. Nothing going on? Not no much. border patrol posts or anything like that there? There's one about five miles away on the highway. Mm -hmm. uh, but what actually prompted me to do this was the day before, on Monday, while at the actual U.S.-Mexico border post, the official crossing, a guy came right across totally unmolested by border security. I figured if this guy can do it right under the nose of, uh, you know, our entire border security apparatus, uh, you know, I can pretty much uh, do anything. Now, how wide is the river there? Oh, what it was. I mean, we're seeing it on 30, video 30, here. 30, 40 feet. So it's a small, you can wade across. You don't even oh, yeah. swim. He's right? doing it. Okay. And so you took the uh, three elephants and a band. And a band. And you went down there and you wanted to get the attention of the Border Patrol. Yeah. So you got in on top of the elephant and you, the elephant waded in the water for an hour and a half. Well, the band was playing. The band played on, the elephant splashed away, and nobody showed nobody up. Nobody showed up. That's, that's truly amazing to me. And the, although we're using satire here and we're showing what a circus border security is, there's a very serious point. You understand it of well. Of course. Everybody understands the point that you have uh, out of control legal immigration because uh, you don't have any supervision on the border, and that's obvious here. Now, Brownsville, Texas is a pretty big town. And they have a lot of problems people. down there, potentially with narcotics trafficking. So this is my worry. Yeah, you can get some people crossing over who want to, you know, get a job or drive a cab or whatever. But you can also take tons and tons of narcotics right through there. Yeah. And if you've got a band and an elephant and nobody checks it out, you know, what are they doing about the narcotics? And the answer is Not nothing. A, Correct? You've got it. That's my concern. You know, after five, uh, five years after September 11th, two invasions, an occupation later, a Homeland Security Department, a Patriot Act later, an untold treasure in lives and money, we have not yet dealt with job one, which is, you know, a real problem on both sides. Political corruption on both sides Did of you the see aisle. any Mexican authorities? You didn't, go, you didn't cross over to Mexico, no, we right? Didn't go you, to just, Mexico. you stayed on stayed the uh, U.S. side. side. Uh, did you see any Mexican authorities? Did they, were they no. looking at you? No. No Mexican authorities, but the guy did have a, uh, uh, a guide on the other side under the U.S. border crossing, you know, telling him where to go. Oh, yeah, but those guys pay, they, they do that all the time. But, Bill, right under the, uh, right under the border, you know, that, uh, right under the official, uh, you know, U.S. International Mexico Bridge. Well, nobody looked over the border. Nobody looked over the bridge to see if some guy's wading across. You know why? Because they see that every day. They see thousands and thousands of people doing that, and they're going, I'm not going to do anything about it, because that's the system we have. Now, did you bring this to the attention of the Border Patrol after you did it? Did you show them the videotape? Well, actually, this guy, a little bit later on, got apprehended because we were, you know, literally hooting and hollering. Chasing uh, him. Yeah. Chasing after him right. with a camera guy behind me, right. you know, making as big a scene as I possibly could, saying, hey, look, let's do something about this. Uh, and it's not about the poor Mexican guy wanting to come for a better life. We're all immigrants in this country. You know, the fact of the matter is if he can get across and I can parade with an elephant and splash about and create a circus scene, uh, you know, people, drugs, okay, uh, terrorists. Okay, but my question is, did, did you say, look, I just spent an hour and a half on top of an elephant in the middle of the Rio Grande River and nobody showed up and I had a band? I think they know it now. They know it now, <laughs> but you didn't confront them with it. No, that. I didn't. Because I would have, you know, I would have liked to have seen you have gone to the Border Patrol headquarters and got the commander and said, hey, didn't you not hear the band? Did you not <laughs> see the elephant? Isn't there anybody looking? <laughs> we tried, actually, to interview one of the border guys, but they didn't want to be on uh, They didn't want to be on I, I mean, they're probably a big fan of you as you're on The Apprentice, right? <laughs> so they probably get the little bow tie going on. And <laughs> Medium-sized bow tie. All right, so they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't talk to you when you, when no, you try to go like no, that. No, no. All right, well, you're embarrassed. All right, so National Guard's supposed to be at the border, border fence. And now we have, uh, what, hundreds of thousands of elephants, would you say, are coming to the United States un unattended? I, I think that, that <laughs> if we had a couple... If they of, wanted to, they could. It would have cost me a lot less to get the elephant if we had a couple hundred All thousand right, coming. Good luck in your congressional race in Pennsylvania. Thank we you, We appreciate sir. you coming in. Delight to be here.
And we would like you to vote in our BillOReilly.com poll.